Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today has just been one of those days where just the day goes by so quickly like you don't even realize it. Um, I had all these elaborate plans of like filming my day, having a little day in my life, but I just obviously couldn't get to any of them right now. It's like 5.15, I actually have to get going like right now. Um, and then I'll explain how my day went, but I don't really have anything prepared to make for if it's art tonight. So I think the, the rest of this video, what is going on with the focus here? Okay, there we go. But yeah, I think the rest of this video is honestly just gonna be me last minute making my dinner. I'm about to walk to Whole Foods and pick up some groceries. I wanna make like a salmon bowl cause that's like my go-to when I just need something quick and that I know I'll enjoy. And I don't know if I ever like thoroughly went through a whole video on like how I make my salmon bowls. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. Um, and I do have frozen salmon, but it'll take too long to thaw, so I'm just gonna have to go and buy some new ones and have to pick up a couple things as well. So I'm gonna go quickly do that, and hopefully I can be back by 6, which gives me like 45 minutes to walk there and back and like shop and everything. So hopefully I can make that time work because I have exactly like two hours till I break my fast. Um, yeah, it's just one of those days, but please subscribe if you are new. If you're just joining these normal on daily vlogs, I am uploading for the next 30 days or 30 days total. I don't know what day we're on now, six possibly? But yes, let's go and I'll explain how my day went later. <laughs> I am sweating, oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't even that hot out. I guess I was just walking a lot faster than I normally do. Like I was sprinting through those streets. It's like 6.10 right now. So I have an hour to make everything. So I'm gonna set up and then show you guys how I make everything. I also am trying out this new kimchi. I like to get mine at H Mart, but I didn't have time to go there today, so. Twins kimchi. It says it's premium, so better not play me. And then also Whole Foods doesn't have sriracha, which is annoying. They, well, they, they have like fake sriracha. I wanted like the original sriracha, but hopefully it still tastes the same. Anyways, I'll be back. <laughs> first things first, I'm gonna get started on the rice. So this is the type of rice that I like to use um, for like sushi style rice. And I'm gonna do a cup of this. Okay, that's a little more than a cup, but that's okay. I'm using this much rice. And then I like to rinse it until the water goes clear. And I find the easiest way to do that is put it in a mesh container and literally just run it under the sink until the water turns clear. And then, yeah, it's just super easy. All right, so the water is clean now, so I'm just gonna drain out any excess water and transfer it. I'm gonna add about one and two thirds cup of water, which is one and a half times the amount of rice that I used. So I just washed my salmon filet. I have about a pound here. And I'm gonna cut this into small chunks about this size, basically just like bite-sized chunks. Oh, and by the way, I asked them to remove the skin uh, when I was at the grocery store, so that's something you can do if you don't know how to remove the skin yourself. Um, it's just easier to ask them and it's completely free. So in here, I'm gonna add all of my seasonings. So let me just take them all out first. I have this big garlic because I haven't transferred it to a smaller thing yet. I have some lemon pepper, some onion powder, some cayenne pepper, this 21 seasoning salute, some ginger powder, and I have this cute little kosher salt. And to add a little bit of some sweetness, I'm gonna add this teriyaki sauce. Let me put it in focus. Um, this is by Primal Kitchen. It's the No Soy Island Teriyaki. And this is just gonna add like a little bit of sweetness. So, probably gonna add like two tablespoons of that teriyaki sauce. A little less than a tablespoon of garlic powder. Gonna add some lemon pepper, of course. 
I'm gonna add a touch of some ginger powder. Maybe like half a teaspoon. Probably about the same amount as the ginger, so like half a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna add maybe like two or three dashes or four of some cayenne powder or cayenne, cayenne pepper. <laughs> and just a little bit of some 21 seasoning salute and like one pinch of some kosher salt, maybe a little bit more. And I'm just gonna give that a mix. I'm just gonna set this aside and let it marinate while I chop up all of the vegetables just because I want this to be like super hot when we eat it. So I'm gonna cook it like literally 10 minutes before iftar. So everything we need is prepped. We have the carrots, Persian cucumbers, I have some mango here. I love the taste of like mango in like sushi type products, so that's a must. It's an acquired taste though, so to each their own. I have an avocado that I just sliced up, some parsley I believe, and then I just have the salmon waiting over here and I have like 20 minutes to spare. So that is perfect. Um, let me show you guys how the rice is turning out. Oh, it's like perfectly cooked. Amazing. So this is what I like to season my rice with. It is the Marukan light seasoned rice vinegar. And I just kind of drizzle a little bit over that. I think that's enough. And then I just use a fork and just kind of like fluff it and rake it. Um, but that's pretty much good to go. Just have to serve it over or under the bowl. So I'm actually going to turn off the heat right now and just cover the salmon and let it chill until it's basically time to eat. It's like 7.05 right now, so I have about like 10-ish minutes. Um, but the reason is it's not fully cooked yet, but since I'm gonna keep it in the hot pan, it's gonna continue cooking and I don't want it overcooked. I personally would prefer my salmon slightly undercooked than overcooked because then it just tastes like hard and rubbery. So I'm pretty happy with how it looks just like that and i'm sure if i flip it over the other side is nice and crispy as well okay this is the last time that i buy this specific kimchi because look what just happened i just got kimchi all over me there was a little sign that said open with caution over sink so i was like okay so i put it in the sink and i opened with caution but tell me why they filled this kimchi Literally, like, they overfilled it to the point where it literally exploded on me. Like, what? I'm so confused. Like, how does that even happen? Hopefully this gets out. Like, it's all over me. It's all over my shirt. That is the last time. See, this is why I stick to H Mart for Asian goods. Like, I don't know what this twins kimchi is, but they need to figure out a different way to package their kimchi because that is insane. So, <laughs> awkward angle, but I just broke my fast and prayed, so now we can start arranging everything. Um, I'm gonna start by making a sauce to go on top. I'm doing it in a Ziploc so that I can actually like drizzle it nicely because this has kind of like a thick star tip so it doesn't drizzle out as like, you know, pretty. So I want it kind of spicy. So I'm gonna put a good amount of sriracha and then just kind of like mix it around. So I'm gonna do a nice amount of rice at the bottom. It's nice and sticky as you can tell. Mmm, seasoned perfectly. Before I add any of the toppings, I'm gonna add some ponzu. You can honestly make this as pretty or as ugly as you'd like. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit decent looking. I think that's enough salmon for now. If I want more, I can add more. And then I'm gonna do all the toppings. So I'm gonna have some carrots over here. I'm gonna have some mango, the avocado, the parsley for the spicy mayo. So I'm just gonna chop it right here. Quickly drizzle it over. 
And then I have some toasted sesame seeds. You can also put furikake, but I don't have any. So it's just gonna be sesame seeds for today. And I'm gonna do like one squeeze of lime, whatever's in here at least. And that's it. Here is my salmon bowl. I made that actually very quickly <laughs> from start to finish in like two hours, like including going to the grocery store. So I'm very happy with myself. Okay, I almost forgot about the stupid kimchi. I'm just gonna have that on the side. And then I also have some seaweed. And there we have our spicy salmon bowl. It's gonna be so good with a little bit of my twist with the mango. Oh my God, this looks so delicious. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm so excited. Oh, this is literally my favorite meal to eat. I want like a little bit of everything in one, but it's so hard. Mmm. I honestly don't even have the words. This is so good. Oh my god. These flavors. Okay. Whatever ponzu I used or got is so good. If you guys see that at Whole Foods, definitely get it. It kind of has like a citrusy flavor to it. 10 out of 10 meal, if I do say so myself. So dinner was incredible, of course. Uh, but now I'm gonna make some dessert just so that I can enjoy this a little bit after I pray a shot and do all my like duet and stuff um a lot of you guys have been asking if i can make my date what are they called like chocolate covered dates that i used to make over the past couple of years um and i haven't made it since last ramadan i feel like or i might have made it i might have made it actually no that's a lie i made it like two weeks ago but <laughs> i haven't made it as consistently it's usually something that i only make during ramadan um, but I'm excited. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make kind of like a turtle inspired one. So I have some crunchy peanut butter here. And then I have my dates, of course. Um, I already melted the chocolate, so I'm just using this one over here by this brand. I personally have not really heard of this brand, but anything besides Nestle. Some semi-sweet chocolate over here that I already melted in the microwave. And then I have some roasted pecans. And that's pretty much it. I also just have some like pistachios on the side here because you could totally do this with pistachio as well. I have a little dish here with some parchment paper just so it makes it easy to like peel off the frozen dates. So pretty easy. I'm just taking a date and I'm gonna chop it down the middle here. Take out the seed. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick with six for now. And I actually got this tip from TikTok. I forget who exactly. I think it might've been like Moribian or someone else that just came up on my feed. Usually what I do is I'll just like take some with a spoon and like put it in there. But it's actually a lot easier if you just put it in a Ziploc. So I'm gonna do that or like a piping bag, but I don't have any piping bags on me. So I'm gonna do like a big scoop of some peanut butter and just put it into the corner of the Ziploc. The end, like so. Kind of like how I did the um, sriracha. And then I'm just gonna fill my dates. All right, and that was pretty easy. I'm just gonna pipe the rest of this back into the peanut butter jar so I'm not wasting any. And now I'm just gonna pick out whatever size pecan that I want, like a little half, and just stick it inside. And the reason this will taste like a turtle, if you guys don't know what a turtle is, it's basically like a chocolate covered, a, a caramel covered pecan dipped in chocolate. So the caramel basically is the date here because the date kind of has a very similar consistency to caramel, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. So now that that is done, all that's left is to dip it in chocolate, like so, and I'm gonna use a spoon to just kind of like coat the entire thing in chocolate. Oh, 
Okay, and they're all covered. So this is totally optional, but I'm gonna take just a little bit of salt. And this is like kosher salt, so it's a little bit rocky or coarse. Oh my God, I'm forgetting English. And there it is. So I'm just gonna keep this in the freezer until I finish like my nightly duties and clean up a bit and then I can enjoy this while watching a show. Also side note, I'm dying at the fact that I thought three boxes of this would last me the entire month because it hasn't even been a week of Ramadan yet and I'm almost completely out of all my dates. <laughs> but luckily I have two more. I'm actually very glad. You know what? Past Aisha was really looking out. <laughs> Sorry, I really do not mean to be inappropriate during Ramadan. <laughs> but why is it gotta look like that? Why is it gotta be shaped like that? <laughs> That's so funny to me. I am going to enjoy my tea and my dates. Um, actually, let's just give it a try. I kind of want to try the one with salt on it. Let's try the one without salt first. Mmm. Oh my god. It just hits every single time without fail. So good. This one's safe for the internet. Mmm. <laughs> it just balances out the flavor perfectly. Oh my god. I love that. Anyways, I didn't really update you guys on my day earlier today. I sold my dresser. <laughs> the big, br uh, not brown gray dresser that's in my bedroom that was in my bedroom so i listed it last night on facebook marketplace and this morning this lady messages me and she's like hey is this still available and i'm like yeah she's like okay is it real wood i said yeah she didn't know proper english like she was kind of speaking in like broken english slash spanish but i was just using google translate so it was fine and she was like okay are you free in 40 minutes and i was like uh yeah i guess so and then she's like, okay, what's your address? So I just gave her the intersection that I was on. And then I kind of just forgot about it because she didn't really like message me back. So I was just like on YouTube, like uploading my video, doing all my work, stuff like that. And then I get a text and she's like, I'm here. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I genuinely didn't think she was gonna come. Cause a lot of people say like, they'll come and like they end up not coming. Like I feel like that usually happens on Facebook Marketplace. So I was just kind of Assuming that but no homegirl actually pulled up. So I was kind of nervous. I was like that seems kind of sketch Like how are you just gonna pull up like 40 minutes after you message someone on Facebook marketplace? <laughs> um, so I went downstairs just to suss out the situation and she was like this really old cute like Spanish lady She was so cute um, I think she was Mexican actually and it was like her husband Had a truck so he was just kind of like waiting there and then we were literally speaking through Google Translate. It was really wholesome. <laughs> and then I brought her up here and she liked the dresser and she's like, okay, I'll take it. But then I was like, um, Miss Girl, you're like, you know, 75 years old. How are you gonna take this heavy, like over 200 pound dresser downstairs? Cause Lord knows I ain't dragging that by myself. Like there's no way. So um, long story short, I had a friend come over, we were able to take it all down, it was fine. It was just like really funny and like yeah, my dresser was sold within like a couple hours so very happy about that. Uh, but now my bedroom looks like a total mess and then the rest of the day I don't even know what ended up happening. Like I guess I was just kind of like uploading the video and then because I've been doing the YouTube premieres now with my Ramadan daily. I get to like interact with you guys and like chat with you as the video goes live and I think I'm gonna do that from now on at least on the days that I actually have time because I, I, I feel like it's really fun like I get to like text you guys essentially and like chat about your day and like you know we talk about stuff that happened the day before like it's just it's a fun time so if you guys happen to see when my YouTube video premieres definitely join in on the live chat because it's really fun and um yeah, I feel like like other people in the in my community were like chatting with each other. It was just really wholesome. So I loved that. Um, and then yeah, suddenly it was 5 p.m. and I had no food to make. So that's what I basically carried on. But 
if you'd like to see what my bedroom looks like currently. Obviously, I'm still kind of, sort of, I'm avoiding showing you the entire bedroom because obviously I want to do an entire bedroom reveal uh, with like the new furniture and everything. But as you can see, the dresser is nowhere to be found. <laughs> She is gone. I hated that dresser, so I'm actually very happy it's gone. But this is what my bed looks like right now. How fun. I just have like everything from my dresser pulled into here and um, it's just gonna stay here until I get my new one, which it's coming on Thursday, so it's not too bad of a wait, but it's just, it's an eyesore. Like, yeah, it's just chaos, but. I'm really excited for my new dresser to come in and then once that's in, I'm just waiting for one other piece and then I finally get to do the bedroom reveal for you guys. So that'll be a part of the Ramadan daily video videos um, and I can't wait because I'm just so in love with how my bedroom looks right now and I know I keep teasing you guys. If you do follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a couple teasers already, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited for that one. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my tea and these dates. They are so, so good. I'm so happy I made these tonight. <laughs> you have to try these out. Like, if you still haven't, make them the turtle version with the toasted pecans in the middle and the crunchy peanut butter and the semi-sweet or dark chocolate. It's just fabulous. So, I'm going to sip my tea. I'm having Sama tea. I've been loving this brand. It's really, really good. Um, I think I was showing you guys my tea drawer but like half of theirs is over here. I need to restock on some of my favorites, but this is my tea drawer if I haven't shown you guys. I feel like I have. It was definitely in a moving vlog. Anyways, I'm prolonging the end of this video, so basically I'm just going to chill on the couch, probably watch an episode of Legacies or something, and then go to bed around like 12. I don't know if I'm gonna wake up for Sahur tomorrow night, or tonight. I might. I have some food in the fridge that I can have, um, like the the chia seed pudding that I made earlier this morning, which I didn't even reference that. The vlog literally started with Sahur and I showed you guys chia seed pudding, but I didn't really share. That felt like a whole other day ago. <laughs> but yeah, I did make that and it was delicious. Um, and that's how I started my day. And I feel like it honestly kept me very full and hydrated throughout the day. So maybe I will wake up for Sahur. We'll see. Do you guys wake up for Sahur? I know it's Sunnah, but like realistically, do you actually wake up for Sahur? Because I know like, when I was growing up, majority of the time, like when I had school and work, um, like an office job, I wouldn't really wake up for Sahur because there wasn't really that much time, especially living on the East Coast. Um, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on it. Oh, okay, I think that's enough. I think I'm just like dragging on the ending of this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please be sure to also donate to Ethiopia in the link down below. It'll, it's always at the top of my description, but it basically helps provide food packages this month during the month of Ramadan. So they're currently giving out these. Okay, I got rudely cut off because clearly I am talking too much. My memory, my memory card got full, but yes, please donate. We are very close to our goal of $5,000. So would love to hit that and of course continue to raise the goal so that we could provide the you know highest impact for the people in need. But would love and appreciate your guys' support on that. And yeah, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow in another episode of Little Milan Daily. Good night, everyone. Mwah.